I had the opportunity of sitting on the Natural Resources Committee uh, a little over a year ago, and I think it was the first time my office contacted you in this regard on the topic of uh, UAPs, Unidentified Aerial Anomalous Phenomena. And um, lots has been written and presented to the U.S. Congress on this topic. Scientists and those experts in that field have been uh, uh, have briefed Congress on this. I know that our Canadian minister has been briefed, some of our persons here as well. Would this be a topic that you would be interested in studying? Uh, Mr. Chair, we, we are actually, we have initiated a study on this. Uh, and, um, you know, we've made it, we've made it actually public that we, we are carrying out the study. Uh, I must say that it has generated uh, a lot of public interest. Um, the natural resources we're looking at, uh, why these particular objects, whatever they are, um, might hover around nuclear facilities. I think would think that would be of special interest. I've also seen that in some of the French documents from France as well. Um, can you comment on any connection that you may have studied or seen in that area and what sort of, uh, and particularly in the study that you're doing, what sort of things are you studying? So, so yeah, perhaps I can, I can uh, briefly summarize what our study is about. Uh, uh, what we're doing is uh, we're actually uh, looking at the process by which, uh, you know, public reporting of uh, unidentified aerial phenomena actually happens in, in the country. Um, and um, making recommendations, if need be, on uh, what should be, uh, you know, if, if we need to improve on the system and uh, uh, how best to align our efforts with our allies. And have you asked uh, uh, any uh, witnesses to come before your committee or, or the, uh, I, I don't, did you meet with, uh, or have you met with any of the people from the U.S. that have uh, been public uh, with the Congress on this? Um, yes, so uh, we have, so right now we're, we're actually um, wrapping up, but we're continuing our, our uh, contacts with uh, and our exchanges, gathering information uh, both uh, in Canada and outside of Canada. We have spoken with, uh, with experts, we have spoken, um, you know, with, with uh, uh, self-identified experts as well who are uh, working in this area. Just a couple of quick questions. Yes. Uh, has the departments and agencies been forthcoming with the information that you've requested from them? And when will the Sky Project, uh, Sky Canada Project be completed and publicly released? So, so we have uh, sent, uh, re, um, you know, questionnaires and information to to several uh, departments that we think, uh, uh, you know, have been uh, involved over the years or, or may be involved right now. And uh, I would say at the working level, we have received information uh, from some. Um, uh, uh, the enthusiasm or the response have been uneven. Uh, so, uh, but, you know, we, we haven't, like, taken it uh, a, a step uh, further. So uh, we'll make sure that we get the information that we need. Yeah, and the, uh, uh, as we've seen, in the, you know, in, in Congress, uh, they've started to legislate that the information that they've got should be released. And so will any of your recommendations be about the government transparency and the importance of releasing raw data and information to scientists and researchers here as well? We're not at the stage of the recommendations yet, but I would I would just perhaps uh, offer the following: that based on what we have um, gathered in terms of information uh, so far, um, I, I think that there there is uh, room for improvement in terms of the uh, gathering, reporting on the information, and also making it uh, making it um, available to researchers and. Uh, to the public. Um, I think that this is the kind of things that if the information, of course, I can appreciate that some, you know, may be of national security concerns, but uh, I believe that by and large that you can make the information uh, public. And I think that's the best way to, uh, to mitigate um, conspiracy theorists and disinformation. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. And would you, uh, do you believe it would be prudent then for parliamentarians to study your recommendations once they're released? Um, well, you're, you're of course free, like free to, to study it, but uh, I would certainly feel feel honored that you've taken, uh, you know, one of my studies and uh, given it uh, further study. Do you know when the Sky Project, uh, Sky Canada Project, will be completed and publicly released? 
we we're uh, we we have provided yes uh, uh, timelines for this. Uh, we're uh, we're about to start uh, you know drafting the report while continuing to do the um, you know gathering information, and we should be on track for releasing the report uh, in uh, at the end of summer, early fall. And have you released uh, or has your office reviewed uh, Government of Canada historical documentation, including uh, previous efforts mm -hmm. such as the Project Magnet? Uh, we have we have uh, we have gathered uh, a lot of historical in information. Uh, I think our, our our report is going to be quite fascinating on the historic uh, front. Uh, so stay tuned. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, just uh, just wondering as well. Um, uh, NAF Canada, which is the receiver of many UAP reports, is never isn't isn't very transparent. Um, has the Sky Canada Project team sat down with them about how they can release more information for scientific investigations? Um, I'll have to ask my team if they have sat down specifically with uh, with NAFCAN. I cannot, you know, answer this, but we have reached out to uh, uh, and sat down with with many of the folks that collect the information the right now. Have any of the departments or agencies flatly rejected giving you information based on the national security or classification concerns? I, I don't believe that they have uh, rejected giving us information. Um, you know, sometimes the information is more complete or, or uh, you know, more cryptic than would like it to be, uh, which is why in some cases I will be engaging directly with the deputy ministers to make sure that we, we have the information that we need.